and welcome to your gold market update for monday the 13th of june i know many of you are having a public holiday and i hope you're enjoying it but of course markets are still open with the exception of the asx let's have a look at what's coming across the news and of course on friday we saw a broad-based sell-off after the core cpi number was holding expected not surprising really as oil price has just rocketed in the last week or so which undoubtedly has contributed to this consequently Markets not only sold off then, but also are selling off in Asia today. We are seeing year-to-date lows on the US futures, whether that's translated or not into the equity market when it opens this evening remains to be seen, of course, but at this stage, we're nearly 2% down on the NASDAQ. US futures, as we've indicated, are significantly lower in Asian trading, continuing that selling, and Asian indices are following suit with the Nikkei down uh, again in excess of 2%. The ASX is closed and, not surprisingly, European futures are also looking lower. US dollar continues to move higher and is approaching mid-May mid -May highs. Gold has moved higher as a little bit of a flight to safety towards the top of the recent range around the 1875 level. Oil has dropped slightly but is still over 120 and once again we're seeing market uncertainty rife. We've seen the VIX pop higher, testing that 30 level again we see in Asian trading today. One of the other key stories is the sell-off in cryptos. We saw Bitcoin sell off significantly through support, trading now near early May lows, approaching 25,000. Remember, there was an intraday touch of 25K. We'll have a look at a chart in a moment. On the data front, although there is UK GDP and industrial production numbers out this afternoon, that's really the only data out of significance. But investor thoughts are going to be focused on the Fed on their interest rate decision later in the week, it is anticipated a rise of 0.5%. I think that's baked into the pricing, but what's going to be important is the narrative that goes along with that. Let's have a look at a couple of charts of interest. Um, we're going to start with Bitcoin. You can see there, there's the gap down following the weekend. And of course, we've got absolutely smashed in Asia today. You can see there, there's the intraday low, which hit this 24,982 level. Looks as though we're on track for doing that again. You can see since Asian Open, it's just sold off and continue to do so. So no appetite at all for cryptos at the moment. And if it does break that 25 level to the downside, really the next level of interest, if we take it right back to January 2021, you can see there we're testing that level there. If we break through that, then 20 looks on the cards fairly easily, technically. On the FX front, we're looking at the AUD USD daily chart there. You can see this test of 70 cents. We're just going to move this down a little bit there just to touch base with this figure here at the beginning of the year. If we break through this level, this is at 69.89. It wouldn't be surprising to see it start to move down towards this 68.30 level, which again was the low mid-May when we had this last general market sell-off. If we look at the 30 minute chart you can see really again since asian open we've got a continuation of that sell since that inflation number came out on friday at this stage we're just holding on to this level right now 70 cents one of those key round numbers that markets tend to like so we would expect a pause around here and what happens next to this will be dependent on the rest of the day there's nothing technically to hold it up apart from that but then it will precipitate some more selling if we see a break of this support trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now